Good afternoon, Belen. Since September 15th and continuing through October 15th, we have recognized as a nation National Hispanic Heritage Month. During these few weeks, celebrations honoring the heritage and contributions made by members of the Hispanic community have been conducted throughout the country. In honor of that, let us take a moment and use as our guide for today's examen someone who is not very well known, but who nevertheless contributed greatly to the understanding of different cultures. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Accompanying Columbus on his second voyage to the New World in 1494 was a young Spanish friar named Ramon Pané. His ministry was to live among the residents of the island of Hispaniola, today the island shared by Haiti and Dominican Republic, to learn their language and to write a record of their lives and beliefs. While the culture of these indigenous peoples have come to be known as the Tainos is now extinct, we have knowledge of it thanks to Fray Ramon's book, the first book ever written in the New World. Fray Ramon became known as the first catechist of the Americas, the first to teach the Christian faith in these lands, and his motivation was simple and sincere, to bring God to the New World. He understood that God was to be made known to everyone, he had a desire to have people understand and acknowledge his presence. Our lives are very similar today. We must be open to recognize God's presence among all of those close to us. God is near each one of us, and he may be reflecting his presence in those people that we see every day. Take a moment and try to see God through all those that love you every single day. Fred Ramon was grateful to God for allowing him the opportunity to live among other cultures. He became the first Western European to learn a native language of the Americas, and at the beginning of his book, he states that the only reason for writing it was to learn about the beliefs of the native population. He did not hesitate to settle with them and to share their lives. At the end of the book, he also writes, What I have been able to learn through diligent inquiry of the customs and rights of the people of Hispaniola, I seek neither spiritual nor temporal benefits. If it contributes to the praise and service of our Lord, may he be pleased to give me strength to persevere. We are also meant to be thankful and to persevere in our purposes, in our studies, our sports, our family, our social life. And for all these gifts we receive, we are called to express our gratitude and ask God for the strength to praise Him through our lives. Take a moment to simply thank God for all that we are, for the person you want to be, and more important, for the person that God wants you to be. Fray Ramon realized he was not a perfect man, just as we are far from perfection. But he did realize that his imperfections could be forgiven if he sincerely came to God and asked for forgiveness. We also are far from perfect. We make mistakes. But our mistakes can also be a strength. If we recognize them, we do our best to improve our life and ask God for pardon. For those moments, we fail to be true men and women for others. We ask God's forgiveness in the complete confidence that God wishes to forgive every man and woman who approaches him with a sincere heart. Lastly, even though much of his life is unknown, we can safely assume that Fray Ramon was a man who believed in God's providence. He worked to understand others in order to create a better world. We also look forward to the next day in the knowledge that we can create a better world if God is here always with us. In the, of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Lady of Belen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Fray Ramon, ora por nosotros.